driver in that field actually lives right here in Middle Tennessee. How about it? Channel 4's Terry Bulger is here with his story. The need for speed. Yeah. Everybody has it. Right. Or maybe not everybody, but a guy with a big rig certainly does. Mike Morgan spent 20 years under Big Mac trucks fixing them. A year or so ago, he moved up to a higher elevation, the front seat, and started racing them. Now the rest of the field is eating his dust. <laughs> Mike Morgan isn't about to take his foot off the gas. That's why he keeps racing past big trucks on the track. His Black Mac 88 is a victory lane machine, a wild 100 mile an hour on the edge driver and winner of that wild trophy as the nation's best. You go bumper to bumper for you know 20 minutes or more and you're staying six inches off his bumper at 100 mile an hour, you make him sweat. You make them sweat till they make a mistake. When they make a mistake, you get around them. Mike's from Wartrace, Tennessee, spent 20 years looking under the hood as a technician for Mack trucks. So he knows what makes them run. Oil and gasoline are a given. No fear and attitude are a necessity. You're right on the edge all the time. I'd be considered controlled chaos <laughs> in an aggressive way. That's how you get out front and you stay out front. Big rig racing is a regular event all across Europe. Was too here in the United States, but went away 30 years ago. Now the circuit's back. The races coming to the nation's top speedways. Mike's still full time turning wrenches at the Mack truck in Laverne. Big rig racing doesn't pay set for retirement money yet. But it's still a lot of fun to do and to talk about. You go into a turn, the truck wants to go over there, you need it to be over here. You're sawing on it to get it over there, you know, you're going to make things happen. Mike says he has no real secrets when it comes to his career as a championship truck driver. He believes it's just that competitive nature and the strong desire to win at anything. What about that trophy? <laughs> I, I, it looked like a velociraptor from <laughs> Jurassic Park to me, but I could not confirm that. And I noticed there's no cargo involved. No, right? <laughs> Thank goodness. Thank goodness. That's probably next. Give it about 10 years. <laughs> exactly. When they got to find something else to race. That'll be next. Yeah. Well, Thanks, police sir. call it.